Sadly, Suzanne Crowell was only 52, a tragic end. Suzanne Crowell, who played sweet, freckle-faced Tracy Partridge on The Partridge Family passed away. Suzanne was born in Fullerton, California, on March 6, 1963. She began acting at a young age, prompted by that fact that her oldest brother portrayed one of Opie's, Ron Howard, friends on The Andy Griffith Show. After appearing in a Barbie commercial for Mattel Toys, the seven-year-old auditioned for the part of Tracy Partridge and was cast in the role. The Partridge Family debuted on the ABC network on September 25, 1970. Suzanne's character, Tracy, was the youngest of the Partridge siblings. She played the tambourine and other percussion instruments such as triangles and cowbells. The show revolved around a widowed mother, Shirley Partridge, Shirley Jones, and her family of five children. After four seasons, the Partridge family was losing the ratings battle in its new time slot that put it up against CBS's groundbreaking All in the Family. Suzanne Crow's post-Partridge family career was fairly brief. In March of 2000, she told that after playing Tracy Partridge she was typecast and it was difficult to get other roles. She said, either I looked like Tracy, or because I wasn't on the show that much, I count an act. Well, you know it's hard to change someone's mind without meeting them. Sometimes they wouldn't let me read for the part. Suzanne appeared in the short-lived 1977 drama series Mulligan Stew on NBC. Set in the fictional suburban neighborhood of Birchfield, California, Mulligan Stew was a comedy drama about the lives of Michael and Jane Mulligan and their extended family of seven children, one of which was Stevie Friedman, Suzanne's character. Only seven episodes of the series were produced. Suzanne also played the role of a teenage mother in the 1978 Academy Award-winning short film Teenage Father. The docudrama, directed by Taylor Hackford, received an Oscar in 1979 for Best Short Subject. Hackford, who later directed An Officer and a Gentleman, 1982, Against All Odds, 1984, White Nights, 1985, and Ray, 2004, thanked Suzanne during his acceptance speech. Suzanne Crow's last credited screen role was in the 1980 television movie Children of Divorce. After retiring from acting, Suzanne attended and graduated from Pierce College Los Angeles. In July of 1985, at the age of 22, Suzanne married William Bill Condre. Condre, a former highway patrolman, is now a lawyer in Bullhead City, Arizona, near the border of Nevada. The couple had two daughters, Samantha and Alexandria. Until 1993, Suzanne Crow owned the Book Center bookstore in Temecula, California. Although she never revived her acting career, she participated in Partridge family reunions over the years. In 1995, to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the series, she appeared on Danny Bonaducci's talk show with Shirley Jones, Dave Madden, Susan Day, Jeremy Gelbbex and Brian Forster. In March, 2010, almost four decades after the Partridge family's premiere, Suzanne appeared on a Partridge reunion on NBC's The Today Show in New York City. The show was, hosted by Matt Lauer and featured her former castmates David Cassidy, Danny Bonaducci and Brian Forster. During the Today Show reunion, Suzanne revealed that she was a manager of an Office Max store in Bullhead City, Arizona. I have two daughters, I am married, I have a normal job, she declared. When asked if she did any singing, she joked that she was very good at being Millie Vanilli, referring to the pop singing duo involved in a lip-syncing controversy in the late 1980s. Suzanne Crow died suddenly at her home in Laughlin, Nevada, on Monday, April 27, 2015. Las Vegas police attributed her death to a medical episode and stated that it was not suspicious. An autopsy was scheduled for Wednesday, April 29, 2015, but no conclusive findings. Upon learning of Suzanne Crow's sudden death, Danny Benaduce paid tribute to his former on-screen sibling. Another of Suzanne's TV brothers, 
David Cassidy, told his sadness at hearing the news of Suzanne's sudden passing. He said, Although we did not know each other very well due to our age difference during our partridge days, I always thought fondly of Suzanne and her family. Suzanne's television mother, veteran actress Shirley Jones, 81, expressed the following sentiments. I am so devastated by the sad and sudden loss of Suzanne. I still remember her as my young daughter on The Partridge Family. She was the baby of the show. It's a rude awakening that we are all mortal. How fleeting life is. My heart goes out to her family and children. Suzanne will always be remembered and I will always treasure my memories of her. Suzanne Crow, my sweet TV baby for five years, only 52, never sick a day. Two adorable children, a devoted husband, everything to live for, just fell asleep at the dining room table and left us forever. Dear God take care of my baby. In Susanna's Associated Press obituary, her grieving husband, William Condre, described her as a patient and loving wife, mother and grandmother to one-year-old Evelina. Rest in peace Suzanne Crow. Goodbye Tracy Partridge.